Episode we're, 24. Yeah, we're back. Back again? I actually feel the most energised I've felt on this podcast for a very long time. Why is that? Not knackered. I feel a bit knackered. Why are you knackered? Because I'm doing your program and it's killing me. That's not good advertisement for it, is it? <laughs> it's Making good. Like I'm feeling like really strong. I'm yeah. squatting <laughs> nearly the same as you. Bull- uh, no, hold on. No, 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 no. Let's clarify that very, very quickly because you're making me sound like... Are you like embarrassed? No. It's okay. No. So, all right. Okay. okay here's what's it's happening. It's okay for women to be just as strong as men. No, no I'm not. I, why do you have to make this about genders? This was nothing to do with genders. This was all about just me and you. It's all personal. Right. So, what are you going to say? Today I had an awesome moment where Liam smoked me on the ski erg. I love training with people who are fitter than me because you have to work harder. But when you're fitter or stronger than someone, you can sometimes just cruise, you know. When you're not really training, like I'm not really training for anything at the moment. Just going through the motion. So I just squat whatever I'm squatting. Yeah. And that's all I was doing. And then I went over to talk to Amy today and I was looking at the barbell because we were training at the same time. I was looking at the barbell and it was yellow. No, at first Amy goes, oh, I'm nearly squatting my body weight. It was a yellow and a black. So it was 60 kilos. And then... You had a yellow, yellow, black, and I'm sitting there going. Doing the math. You're doing 90 kilos squats. We're only doing 100 over there. <laughs> so I realized I had to ramp it up. What did you ramp it up to? I kept it at 100. <laughs> Just I'm coming for you, Lucky. That's all I'm saying. Look, I used to have a big squat. I don't want to boast, but <laughs> I used to. Yeah, but you used to. And I, can, I, I can used still to do have it. a poor squat, and I've got a good squat. <laughs> Uh, Are you competitive with your spouse? <laughs> I'm only I'm not really a competitive person, but because <laughs> I would disagree. Really? Yeah. Why? Because when we did the dry try together, yeah. Then when you're on the rower, you're very competitive. Don't, don't try to shy <laughs> away from that. That is. I don't know if I am. No, I know for a fact you are because you just did it then. <laughs> Everyone's probably listening to this with their jaw on the ground going, how does she not remember what she just started this conversation with <laughs> competition? Yeah, because you're competitive and you're always, you have to I Look, I, I'm not here to say so I'm not competitive. I'm trying to keep up. I know I'm competitive. Look, when we were doing our, well, you're making our workout today and I was just like, let's try and keep them all up under two minutes to the to lads. Liam... I was in at 149, I was 156, 155. Is that for 500? Yeah. And I was like, nah, my brain just clicked. And I was like, it's race time. And I was like, I'm going to catch you, don't let me catch you. And that was the whole Oof. whole workout. So we were just fucking hammering it. What were it. you doing it in? We got down to 143s. Ooh, I wonder so what my father... I've been doing 500s. I'm, I try to get them under two minutes every time. Yeah. So like 157. I oh, see so you want to comp with the boys there. I'm just saying that I'm right on your tail, okay? So, all right. Well, that's I all like I'm that. Saying. I love having a strong <laughs> essay. Uh, so that's why I'm exhausted because I've been really pushing myself. Well, well done. Strong. I'm proud of you. It's good. Um, I like your work ethic and your consistency. Yeah, but also it's, it's attractive. Been like it's an attractive quality. As I said last week, a crazy year of just like. One thing after another. You released like a every song day on is just Friday. Like, yeah, we should we talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about we it. We released a song with Shepherd called "Good Time," and it's our first release with Shepherd in two years. <sighs> which I can't believe because it's I feel like blowing I'm always up busy. on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The, like we just shot the film clip a couple of weeks ago in Melbourne, and it's a really fun summery vibe. It matches the song so perfectly, um, and. Our mum's in it, actually. She has a little cameo, which she, like, dreads. She's so embarrassed about it, but I'm telling everyone. Linda Shepard's in it. See if you can spot her. <laughs> um, yeah, so that came out on Friday. It's going really well. It's been added to a couple of radio stations. We've been doing TV. We've been doing shows. I've been doing my Amy Shepard stuff as and well. And you've been neglecting your husband. This is the first. Oh. Like, when I saw you in the gym today, I was like, Genuinely excited to see you because I, I haven't know. seen you. For, I had to give you a hug in public. I know. It's <laughs> crazy. Do you guys do public displays of affection? Is it cool? Is it called for? What do you think? Like we're not. Like we are a little bit, but not full on PDA. I'm more affectionate than Amy. She gets like embarrassed by it. <laughs> so I try to do it even more just to 
I give her a kiss in public. And when I in the gym today, I was like, "Come here, give me a hug. Come on, I haven't seen you in I five you nights." Hug, it's weird. And you're when really I see like, people like macking it on the gym, like gross. We weren't macking it; we were hugging. Yeah, that's fine. That's well, why you I still you sometimes you're a bit standoffish. You're a bit awkward. I think that's something. That's actually that's that's going to be my pet peeve. We'll come back to that <laughs> one. Oh my goodness, I don't have a pet peeve this week because I haven't seen you. Yeah, well, I've just established one for my... You've got one about me. I'll find one. Come on, well, we live in the VW. Oh, yes. And there's a little pet peeve for you. Oh I just God. gave you one. And that makes me... Let, lets me off the hook. I threw myself Do you want to do an early pet peeve thing as we're on the, t- on the... No, 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 let's come back. Okay. Let's come back. All right. So, question that was put on our... We'll send in our inbox. Mm. A lady, uh, her daughter was actually at CMC on the weekend... And uh, she said, you guys should do a podcast about this topic. Have you ever been ditched by your friends? Mm, was she ditched by her friends? I don't know. CMC. It, do you mean like ditched for just in general or like ditched for another? For a Oh, let's say animal? both. Let's talk through both. Have okay. you been ditched by your friends? Um, not since primary school. <laughs> I've been ditched like I remember back in the day like – the whole group wouldn't ditch you, but like some dudes would ditch you while they're chasing yeah. tail. Yeah, I think that's been definitely like that's more at like prominent. teenage like, years. Yeah, I've definitely had like lost friends because they would spent all their time with their boyfriends and Lame. literally like I had this one friend who kind of just went really rogue and like all weird and like didn't want to hang out and it was just just so strange and we couldn't do anything without. With her, unless the boyfriend was invited. And then she just kind of stopped talking to us <laughs> and, like, only hung out with him. And, and are they still together? Yeah, they got married. Oh. But. Would you say that's worth it then? Maybe, yeah, I guess on her part. But literally, I don't know if she's got any other friends except for him. Oh, well, sometimes you win and sometimes you Lose. learn. Oh. <laughs> that's the lyrics to your own song. <laughs> and you I don't know. wrong. Um... Yeah, well, it's not very nice when you have a really good friend and you spend lots of good good times with them and mm. then they meet someone better <laughs> than just like, yeah, did you? Dirty dogs. What do you think? What about guys who have ditched yeah. you girls? Like uh, we're all adults. We understand that people are going to get partners and priorities change. Yeah, I think you grow apart as well. Like my best mates at school – I'm not, you know, my best mate from primary school, Stewie, mm-hmm. I see more now than I did during high school. Like we grew apart yeah. through high school. We sort of ditched each other. And then my best mates from high school, or like Hugh, for example, yeah, I don't see, I don't really even speak to anymore. Yeah. Like I definitely would, but we just don't make the efforts. I think yeah. we've grown, like life's gone in different directions. So I think as we've got older, we've sort of ditched each other. But yeah. But no hard feelings, right? Yeah, yeah, I think um, now I just want to hang around people. Like I reckon we've got the really good group of friends, and there's never any drama. Like I always think back to if I still had people that brought constant drama into my life, mm-hmm. I could not deal with it. Yeah, like just and over petty stuff that I, I still hear going on with some people at the gym or whatever, and I'm sitting there going. What? I know. Well, don't you? Surely, there's more important things to think about in your life at this point. But I guess for some people, that's really not. Well, you heard it from Amy. <laughs> Get some hobbies. Get some <laughs> bloody hobbies. <laughs> uh, it's funny. We haven't spoken about. Obviously, you just spoke about releasing your song. Mm-hmm. What did I do on the weekend? I've got to say, there's three bands. Or three artists that I can genuinely listen to every single song, every single song, and not need to skip it. And it makes me want to buy the record because you have to sit there and listen to it. It's you guys, mm-hmm. Wallen, mm-hmm. Combsy. Even like the killers who I used to just uh, love, yeah. Johnny Farnham, you, still, you know, a lot of I can't Combsy. listen to it. And just a little plug Combsy is dropping his album on Friday. You're going away to a hen's party. I'm going to get myself a bottle of scotch and I'm going to sit up. By yourself? Yes. Because I don't want oh. people to talk to me while I'm Why listening don't you, to them. Um, 
wait for me to get back and we'll do it together. But I'll listen to it multiple times. We can do it <laughs> twice. But I'm so excited to sit down. To, and Look, I'm going to probably have one scotch, to be fair. Yeah. Not a, drink a lot. Not a, yeah, not a mad drinker. But I just think sitting there, not being disturbed by a single person, play all 16 songs. I'm so excited by that. But, sorry. Mm-hmm. How long was that? Like an hour and a bit? 30 minutes, 40, f- yeah, An 50. Hour. It's a good time. Yeah, I'll have a good time. Uh, but seeing CMC on the weekend was an incredible lineup. So CMC is the country music festival in Brisbane. And it's in huge. Ipswich. It's the biggest one. It's the biggest one in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's, well, Massive. this lineup in particular was insane. Like all the biggest oh. country stars, internationals. Australians just like they're all in the one place for the weekend and I was so excited for it we got tickets <sighs> and um and then Shepard got a gig in Melbourne um so I had to work and I was just like oh so excited but, uh, for a weekend where I could just like let loose and have fun and not have to work mm-hmm. and enjoy a festival rather than being behind the scenes having to work yeah but Lockie went but I I decided I had to fly the Shepherd flag and I had to show face and network and you know, do all uh, that. Did you do that? I did play. I mate, I fucking bumped into heaps of people we know. I was. I told. I already told you. I was chewing the fat with everyone. There I was, and look, it was Friday. It was thirty nine degrees. It was scorching. So I chose comfort over fashion. I went in jeans and joggers, like short jeans and joggers, mm-hmm. and I looked ridiculous. But Stewie rolled in, and Stewie was wearing his iron wombs, iron wound jeans, long uh, um, shirt. And he made a big mistake. He was sweating his ass off. Oh, no. I was sweating my ass off and I was like pretty coolly dressed. Yeah. Anyway, fast forward, there was a lot of great acts. You know, one guy that I really enjoyed his music when I saw him live and his personality and how he spoke to the crowd, absolute flog. I'm not going to say his name. Um, But then like Jordan Davies was phenomenal. Bailey Zimmerman got around him, hadn't listened to much of his. Uh, Cam. Cam was phenomenal. Ashley McBride was in her voice and Cam's voice. I mean, mm. I reckon they're like, you three would get along well. <laughs> um, who else did we see? But anyway, let's fast forward. Hardy is like, Hardy felt out of, like, I, don't get me wrong, I enjoy Hardy because he's was country and now he's definitely rock. And he was on before Morgan Wallen last night and it was just like, he played two country songs from his old stuff, but yeah. a lot of, New stuff from his um, Crow and the Mockingbird album, which is rock, like mainstream rock. And he was screaming like... Really? Yeah, and it was... Oh, like, people loved it, but it was just... Not it, it felt like it was the wrong place for it. Yeah. It felt like it was trying to make what CMC... And I'm probably an old person saying, I like it staying country. It felt like it should be a big day out or... Interesting. A different festival, like... Awesome performance, but anyway. But Morgan Wallen, I have not been excited like that, that ever. How was it? Amazing. Like, I had – it was just phenomenal. Yeah. Like, he's he's definitely now a megastar. Like, he is. Oh, yeah. He is, he's a megastar. He's, he's, you know – Chop it in. Chop it in. Stage Different built. stage. Like – just a perf- like a performance and every song, like I said, knew every word. I was just like those people I used to pay out on. I'm like, how do you obsess over a band so much? And now I'm that guy. Yeah. So I found my band. Like obviously you guys as well, but you guys were the first <laughs> We're ones. the band. But even I was thinking about it. When I met you, I didn't even know you were a musician. Yeah. So. You found out pretty quickly. Though. Yeah. I, I Obviously I found out pretty quickly, but I didn't know – like that's when I listened to Triple J, so I hadn't heard your songs before or anything. It wasn't like I met you and went, oh, she's a musician. Mm. Wow. I slowly learned that. So whereas like Morgan Wallen, I've obviously never met, never seen, so you build up this idea of excitement. Yeah. And I think Combs is going to be the same as well. Okay. That's enough talk right, about so. that. <laughs> Did I just talk <laughs> for 30 minutes? <laughs> Pretty much. I'm so sorry. We're um, talking about couple goals here. Okay. We've got a new segment that we're adding into. Are we going to add this goals. in all the time? Well, let's see if the people like the stories. Okay. 
So you've heard in previous podcasts that I am a sucker for Reddit, the app, the forum. And... Um, if it's on there, she's read it. Yeah. And one of the episodes, like Lockie asked me, what did you read on Reddit this week? <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to add in a segment called Red on Reddit. What do oh, you reckon? Do you want me to get like a uh, a horn button or something? Or uh, We won't rely on you for buttons, okay? No, I'm about to take this <laughs> podcast next level. Okay. We're getting buttons. So do you want me to read the story that I just came across well, on I the think relationship advice. Yeah, hit me up. Subreddit. Is it going to benefit this us? This is got a uh, age warning. This is not safe for work. This is not safe for people under the age of 18. Why? So, listener's discretion advised. Okay. You heard it here first. Go. All right. I'm excited. So, the heading is, I found a video of my girlfriend in bed with three guys. No. 26-year-old male, 24-year-old female. Three guys. So this is the story. Last night I was laying in bed and my girlfriend of one year was taking a shower. Now for reference, I have never looked at her phone. I respect her privacy. But when I was walking around the bed, I saw her phone was unlocked on the nightstand and the photo app was open. Okay, no big deal. But as I was glancing at it, What I saw looked like a porn thumbnail at the top of one of the videos. I honestly thought that's what it was and I was going to laugh that she was saving porn on her phone. I decided to look closer and that was a mistake. I opened the video and it was my girlfriend having sex doggy style with one man while giving another man a blowjob and a third watching from the side. The camera angle (laughs) was like the phone was set in the corner of the room. I did not recognize the room or the men. She has an old phone, so the video was not good, and I couldn't see the front of her face, but I could 99% tell that it was her, even from far away, because of the hair, the body, and very distinct birthmark on her shoulder. I was completely stunned, and I confronted her. How can you see a birthmark, but not your face? It's on your shoulder. If it's from... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wow. So... He confronted her and her response was anger that she went. he went through her phone. I told her I didn't, but it was open on the nightstand, rah, rah, rah. Then after more arguing, arguing she said that an old, it was an old video from her college and that I was being aggressive and that she would never cheat. I asked if the video, why the video was in recent videos one week ago and she said she was cleaning out old photos and found that and was going to delete it. Then she said I was being paranoid and unreasonable. I finally let it go. We went to sleep. We haven't talked about it again. Um, what do you think? Yeah, he just said, I can't get it off my mind. It doesn't feel right. I couldn't see her face. But then there's an edit, so he's updated everyone. He said, I forgot to mention that it was hard to tell with the poor quality of the video. She looked fairly muscular. When we started dating, she was skinnier and has been working out and has put on some muscle in the past year. Now I'm second guessing what I saw and uncertain what to do. Shit. That's a hard one. Oh, my goodness. I. D- what do you think? I think the unfortunate thing with this is if you believe it's recent, you're not going to trust her anyway. I yeah. think the trust is done. Regardless of where it is because there's now no – like, how do you prove that? Whether it is or it isn't. Obviously, you know, if you can't make it out and she, there's no – definite timeline yeah can you check when it was recorded yeah maybe there's a timestamp. i would want to see the timestamp, and if but then can he bring it up again be like show me the timestamp. and I she would. probably is like i deleted it no but you would have But why to. didn't she just delete it why is it in her recent i don't get that i don't that's where i think look. she's caught out i th- so you think she did it i think she did it oh my god but because one she was so defensive like why are you going through my phone like that's just defense 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 and then the second thing is why um the hell if you were going through your old photos to delete it why is it in your recent photos yeah that's a good point i think apple has recent fi- f- folders file recent files folder for a reason because it's recent meaning Sorry, she didn't bro. just cheat on you with cheat on you with one bloke. Not even two blokes. She went three blokes. Now, is that an overachiever? <laughs> we'll leave that out to you guys. I don't know. But I personally I'm calling BS on her. I, I think she cheated and she's a 
Ho. Lockie. I don't use that language. Well, how would I say that then? I'm just saying cheating's bad. <laughs> Lying's bad. She's caught out. And if I were you, I would be breaking well, up with this Okay, what would you... And they're together for one year. Like, Yeah, that's nothing. Find someone who's going to treat yeah, you with treat you well. 100%. I, yeah, definitely go play in a different ballpark. If, yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's what I read on Reddit this week. <laughs> yeah, Stay well, tuned that's, for my next story. that's wild. Yeah, that is wild. Have any of you had to deal with any situations like that? Cheating, yeah. Or whether it was you thought it was cheating but you weren't sure whether it was or whether it wasn't. Like that's a really Look, tricky can situation. Can I give a real life story of me? Yeah. Cool. I don't want to hog it because I know I spoke about Wallen for a long time. I was wallowing on. Yeah, I'm worried that you're going to cheat on me with Wallen. Well, <laughs> um. I remember when I cheated on my previous partner, I was really jealous and insecure that I believed she was cheating on me. So, and all I've since realized, and I've seen, seen a psych, you know, done all that, but it was like I was projecting the bad shit that I was hiding onto her and assuming that she was doing the same things. So I would have to check the phone and do all this weird shit, which is wild. Um, so maybe there's two sides to the story. Well, anyway, we all go through those we learn. things and we learn. We learn. <laughs> Thank God we're If past you that. don't learn, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. So, pet peeves. Pet peeves. Pet peeves. All right. So, well, my pet peeve, as previously stated, I need to read what it was. I didn't even write it down what it was, and I have definitely forgot. Oh, public displays of affection. Yes. Yes, look, I don't want a Mac on in town. No way, no no chance. However, I would love you to look like you're enjoying giving me a hug or a kiss in public. You know, it does it does make me feel like I'm a bit of a burden sometimes. Well, I gave you a nice hug in the gym today. No, but I can tell by your energy. I know, but I just feel like everyone's Look, you're the spiritual looking. you're the spiritual one, right? <laughs> so listen, from an energetic energy point of view and everyone out there knows what I'm talking about. You can tell when your partner wants to give you that hug. You can tell when your partner wants I to give you that kiss. I do want to give you a hug. But you're like... <laughs> yeah, because you're wearing your, you know, your work attire. It's just I don't care. I'm all about the love. All right. So my goal is to be more... More accept- affectionate. More affectionate in public. Just appreciate me, man. Because <laughs> one day when we're grand old, one of us is going to be dead. <laughs> And if it's oh me my first, God, lucky I told you we're gonna die at the same time in the same bed. <laughs> in a perfect world, hey? In a perfect world. Uh, okay. All right, what's your pet my peeve? My pet peeve. So you guys heard that we moved out last week, mm. and Lockie had culled all of his wardrobe, like a lot, like five bags, garbage like bags. Like I went to town. Five garbage bags of clothes, and he had he, a backpack, and all oh, just shit. I'm pretty proud of that. Anyway, he. They sat in our bedroom. I packed up the whole house and they sat in our bedroom for a couple of weeks while I did that and they were the last thing in the unit and I'm like, Lockie, what are you going to do with these clothes? He said, I'm going to give them to my brother mm-hmm. who lives nice. in Toowoomba. Yes. I said, well, just get them out. So he piled them all into my sister's car and then he said, I'll give them to mum because she's coming to CMC with me this weekend. Yes. And she'll take them back to Toowoomba. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll deal with them for a little bit longer. And then I texted Lockie. I was in Melbourne. Text him, don't forget the clothes. Um, I already had them in the car. Yeah, they were in the car. Lockie's like, I'm all over it. Don't worry. I thought about it. I'm like, okay, cool. And then this morning, I go to Cole's and Emma's car. And we open the boot and it's filled with garbage bags. I do clothes. feel shitty about that. Thanks for making me feel <sighs> nice. So, anyway. I got no defense to that. So, this week, your goal is to do something with those clothes. I don't care where they go, but I never want to see them again. Noted. Noted. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap it up for episode 24. All right. We do have... 23? 24. 24. 24. But we've got two guests booked in. We've had actually a lady reaching out to get... The surgeons. Yeah, you know, get k- people on the show, which is cool. We're excited. And don't forget. I, look, I was saying to Amy, we were saying like, should we really dive into this podcast? Let's start getting, cranking out some guests. We need some guests. Mix it up. So we have two 
people lined up, Two which couples, is really yeah. exciting. Um, but if you have an interesting story, if you do things with your partner a little bit differently and you want to tell your story, please um, head to our we website. We could actually even do an episode where we call people. Yeah, we can talk about that later. But yeah, submit on our website. Head to our, the link in our bio. You can fill out the form. The form. And um, we'll read your story. That could be the Reddit read by Amy. Yeah, we'd love to have you on the podcast if you have an interesting story. So, sounds good. Sounds good. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, we're now posting you our can. videos in Patreon. Yeah, stop interrupting me. Sorry, I was just saying, you're really getting the hang of this thing. You're oh. killing it. Keep going. Um, yeah, we're posting videos into my Patreon page rather than having two. Is that correct? That's yes, what we're do. it was just Amy's killing her Patreon we're and merging I was like, it into yeah. one. So I obviously am not part of it. Um, so we will be posting the link, and yeah. it's at. Is it open for men and women? Your Patreon. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Just clarifying questions. That's I mean, all. yeah. Obviously, my content is more catered to women, but I yeah. Think if you want to ever get me in some DTs and blokes can definitely get benefit, and I'll be posting the couple goals. Yeah, cool. Awesome. All right. Hooroo. Hooroo.